중국의 반응 두 번째 항목입니다. It is appropriate to say that the Camp David summit is possibly a starting shot for a new Cold War. Lu, an expert on Korean Peninsula issues with the Liaoning Academy of Social Sciences in Shenyang, China, told the Communist Party newspaper, The Global Times, on Friday. The Camp David Agreement required the United States, Japan, and South Korea to hold annual talks, expand joint military exercise, and establish a three-way hotline for crisis communication. In a statement, the countries also criticized Beijing's dangerous and aggressive behavior in the South China Sea and reaffirmed the importance of peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. The language on Taiwan, which could be read as a warning to Beijing not to attempt to take the island by force, will most likely rankle Chinese leaders for drawing Japan and South Korea closer into a dispute that had traditionally been restricted to the United States, China, and Taiwan. Just last week, China's defense minister, Hon. Li, visited Moscow and warned against playing with fire when he came to Taiwan. He added that any effort to use Taiwan to contain China would surely end in failure. The Camp David Agreement follow a string of moves by the Biden administration that Beijing view as hostile.